Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I am WT, welcome to my Twitch channel. Today, we have a special stream. We normally don't do Wednesdays, but there's a special thing going on, and we are gonna talk about Eradina. It's this cool trading card game, but there's battle tactics involved. It's, it, it, I'm not into trading card games, but this has got my attention because it's got like this battle tactic element, and I like that because it adds a whole nother niche to it. But before we get into that and unpack all that, unpack all that, I've got my good friend Tomahawk with me here tonight. Tomahawk, how you doing, brother? What's up, WT? I'm doing absolutely awesome. I'm I'm psyched to talk about this. I'm super happy to be a guest on your stream again. Always <laughs> fun times. Uh, I leave the content creation to the to the experts. Uh, streamings to the experts and <laughs> if i get a chance to jump on and talk about something i'm passionate uh, about i love it boy you're using that term expert very <laughs> loosely very loosely but i appreciate it i'll take it i'll take it yes eridina uh you'll see a link tree link popping up in the chat roughly every five minutes we want to promote this product and get the word out they have an awesome link tree it's got everything there so if you want to find out more about this product it's in the chat every five minutes uh, we might pop it in every now and then so that if you need it, it's there. Toad Man, he says he's an expert. Yeah, I know. He's very, very kind. Very, very kind for sure. I'm going to do my best to watch chat, but I want to dig into this uh, amazing content that I got to give uh, Tomahawk all the credit here. Um, uh, he, he, he said, hey, you need to check this out. And I went and did. But before we jump into all that, um, we've been in the Web3 space together for a little bit now, haven't we? Yeah, it's been almost two years, uh, yep. I want to say. Yep. Almost it's, two years. It's coming up on two years. I've known him for a while now. And I was trying to think, what do I what do I give him as a title? And I came up with it tonight. I don't know if this is new or if it's out there, but he is a community enabler. And this term is often very overlooked in the space, in my opinion. These are the people behind the scenes that are propping up the community, giving people information, giving people support on what to watch out for, what to do, where to go. And they're talking to the teams about what the community sentiment is. What would the community, how do you please the community? And they're doing the groundwork that nobody's seen. So I, I like, I like community enabler. That's what I like. So am I closer? Do you got a different term for yourself? I actually love it. Um, uh... I think it represents exactly who I am, what I'm trying to do in this space. Uh, I, you know, I've heard some, um, the partnership uh, manager or a person in charge at Eridina, he, he referred to me as a micro-influencer, which I thought was really amazing, but I definitely <laughs> don't see myself as an influencer at all. So community, community enabler, I absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like I said, you got me looking at this project and you and I both, we, we have a history. We we're both immutable X fanatics and anything that comes out of immutable X, we're looking at it. We're like, Oh, what's this? Another project. And we look at it and you know, let's be real. Not every single project that comes out of immutable X is going to be a winner, but the fact that they chose the commutable X shows that they got some common sense because we know what the future is for immutable X. So you looked at this project, it came on, it's got a history. Now it's going into the future with Immutable X. Um, was that one of your main reasons that you looked at it? Or was there something else? Do you, do you have a history with it at all? Um, we, we can go there. I can give, uh, first of all, for how many, oh, we have seven, seven people in the room. I'll say people that are here listening right now, if you can, you know, retweet uh, the Twitter um, post and get people in here. Uh, we do have Eridina confirmed to meet today. They're giving 20 packs to give away during the stream. So let's let's get people in here. Um, yeah. 20. So that, that's the first thing I, I would say. Let's, let's enable uh, WT's community here. <laughs> and, that's 120 uh, bucks in value right now. And that's if you just that's if you just pulled the, the commons. If you pulled one bigger, I mean, that, that value goes up. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'll just um, maybe give a quick intro quickly uh i mean it's, i'm assuming this is recorded and they'll have access to it after yep. so uh, yeah uh, like that we take and we like just said tomahawk has been in space for two years now my focus 
in the space. My mission is, in the space is really um, to push digital ownership forward. And and when I started researching the blockchain and seeing, oh, you can make a little money investing in crypto and whatever, I thought that was cool. But it's not really something I do. I'm not a trader. Uh, I'm a gamer uh, at heart. Uh, but I've been told my whole life that, you know, gaming is a waste of time. And that has always like stuck to me, like gaming is a waste of time. And I've always tried to you know move away from gaming to try and do something in my life kind of thing. And okay. now this whole blockchain is bringing that back and saying, you, you know what? We can now have digital ownership. And to me, that brought me back to, wow, like gaming is no longer like a waste of time. Obviously, it's not a waste of time because we know how, how many billions of dollars is, is spent in gaming. And there's definitely a lot, lots of money to be made in the space. But enabling people to be able to own their assets, to me, it was just mind blowing. And it, and it just makes so much sense. Like you own the, the pack of Pokemon cards you, you know, you buy and you play with and whatever. And this is just another version. Trading card games, TCG genre is literally in the name trading. So, so you have all these games that are online now, but you can't even trade. So, so where's right. the sense of that? So to me, it just made so much sense. I've been pushing kind of that mission, that agenda, ever since I've been in space. Uh, to, to give you a bit more about me, I, I'm uh, from Canada, uh, from beautiful nation's capital. It, is, <laughs> it was actually nice and warm today. We took a nice little three, four kilometer walk. It was sunny, the snow was melting a little, but I know it's going to uh, get really cold again. Um, and yeah, I'm just, uh, just loving it in the space. and I, attach myself to IMX because they have the absolute same mission. They want to onboard millions. They, they want to show the people that digital ownership, decentralization, like that is the way forward. Power to the players. You know, that's why they're teamed up with like GameStop. Same mentality. Give the power to the players, uh, to the gamers. And, you know, I just felt right at home uh, there. And if we move over to, at any point, the WT can jump in and something, but I, <laughs> that's kind of our background. It's where we're from. Obviously, I'm a huge, huge uh, Gila Guardians fan. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm an ambassador, and that's really how I got my name up there uh, kind of thing. And then from there, I, I saw that IMX had a ton of really, they were partnering with such good projects, you know, whether it's... Uh, uh, Illuvium, um, Ember Sword, uh, Undead Blocks, yep. Wag Me Games, uh, Bubble Butts, and uh, Bubble Bots, not Bubble Butts. <laughs> <laughs> bubble um, Butts, yes. Yeah, they're soaking but... in. They're soaking in a lot of games, and that's how you found the, this Eridina. And I like what you said about how you got into it and why you got into it. That is a big reason why I got into this space. I can still remember how mad I was that my assets were literally being devalued every month or every two months in a game that I used to play on mobile. And I, I was getting so frustrated with it. And I was like, I'm never doing that again. And I happened to come across the NFT gaming space at the same time. And that's why I came in. It's like, why would I put my money in there when I know they're gonna devalue it and I have a very small chance of, of selling that besides some crazy black market thing that's super hard to do or go over here and get into the pioneer lane and get into the future. So I, I completely agree with that. And this, this Eridina game, yes, it is on Immutable X. Yes, it's on the blockchain. Yes, there's NFTs, but it's its core is from Web2. And it, it's, I'm told, I, I've never played Hearthstone, but I told it's very similar to Hearthstone. Would you, would you agree with that? Um, well, I've never played Hearthstone either, but oh, okay. I've <laughs> heard that Hearthstone is more like your TCG, like right. normal genre. Uh, like Gods Unchained, like if you want to compare it to something on Immutable, like Gods Unchained, like trading card game, you have the cards, you play a card on the board, your opponents play cards, you're trying to get his health down. What I see with like uh, Eridina is they're putting a whole twist on that. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you got the cards, but you played a card. Oh, this is a little character now on your, on your X board, more like... Yes. So you're playing the card and then it turns into like your... An, uh, civilization style or XCOM. I'm a huge XCOM uh, 
player on Xbox, love that game. And you can even compare it to Warhammer Tabletop. Like I know in the uh, in the chat there, Toadman Sam I think is is online. So Toad, Toadman Sam's my real life brother, and oh. him for fun, he <laughs> plays tabletop like Lord of the Rings. Oh, um, cool! T- tabletop, and he does international competition. He represents Canada worldwide, like playing this game, at, you know, at a competitive level, and you know, trying to win tournaments and all this stuff. So I. Like I know what it is. I I played a couple games of tabletop and I love the concept. I just don't like calculating all your attacks and <laughs> get the ruler out and did my attack reach him? Like like this is so cool. This Aradina is like it calculates everything for you. It shows you all your options when you select a character. You put it somewhere else. Yeah, so that's really cool. And I would I just want to give a little um, uh, what do you call that? The um, uh, just let people know that, like I'm, I'm kind of partnered with Aradina in all of this, and I'll give mm-hmm. a little story on uh, how this came about. And, and so, this, well, before this you just, get into uh, that, before you yeah. get into that, you were talking about the tabletop and all that. Yeah. Up in the screen up there, I have like a game. Yeah. I have a game loop going on, and as oh. you can see, it's like a board. So, yeah. Hearthstone is a trading card game. You're using trading card games, but on a board in scenarios where you have to tactically maneuver your pieces around like a chess piece. And in this, you've got, uh, I'm trying to think of the name, the, the, the warrior captain. And like, if you kill him, the commander, yeah, warrior commander, sorry. If you kill him, you lose. Or if, if you, if you're get killed, you lose. So it's like a king yeah. on a chess board, so to speak. And then you have your troops and then you have these other cards that enable your troops to do better. So like. The amount of strategy that's involved in this is it's absolutely insane and i like that it's on a board that's trading card games alone i'm not really that interested but with this now i'm interested and i think that's what you were saying with total man sam with playing lord of the ring game uh why you can probably get into this am i a little close in there oh that's exactly it like i i play gods unchained a bit i play a couple games i get a little bored like it's it's not fun enough for me it is it competitive and strategic a hundred percent a hundred percent i like that aspect it's just not engaging enough i need something a little more like engaging and this here is like hits that right on the nail yeah. with these st- super strategic elements too like this could definitely be like you know an esports competition this like chess like uh you know those games it, it gets super strategic when you're at that top level right yeah, and uh, you know, I, I know I cut you off there, and I apologize. You were talking about your how you got involved. Like, so right off the bat, he is not officially with Aradina, but he's a community enabler. So he wiggled his way in, doing his magic, and so he's got some ties now, and that's why we're talking about it today, and that's why we got prizes for you today. So a quick summary of like, how did you guys, how did you make this happen? What did you, what did you do? Yeah, yeah, no, this is this is a really, really cool. Oh, one story. second, sorry, sorry. Kevin on Earth, thank you for the follow. Sunyan18, thank you for the follow. And Tom Manson, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. All right, go yeah. ahead. Thanks a lot, uh, stream. If you have any questions, definitely uh, go ahead and put them in there. And yes, number one, I am not an Aradina expert. Like when I did a bit of research, I went, well, damn, this project's been around for a while. And I only heard about it two weeks ago. That's how new I am to this. So obviously, I'm probably going to say stuff that is not accurate about the game. <laughs> so <laughs> go to the link tree. Information is there. Write the it Discord down. has <laughs> their Discord has like uh, really really uh, cool people. The community is awesome. They're very very helpful. Uh, they they answer questions like right away. There's a few counselors or like people in there that I swear to God they're up, they're on there 24 seven. Like that's how passionate they are about the project. But how it came about, so like when every time IMX comes out with an announcement, a partnership announcement, and trust me, there are a lot. It's like every single week they're announcing another partnership. It's insane. So so then they announced this uh, Aradina, and I'm like, okay, like every time they announce something, I go in, I take a look at it, and I'm like. Oh, this actually looks like something I would play. So right. usually when that happens, I usually try and you know join the community and get to know a little more, a bit more about it. And then once I know a bit more about it, then I'm 
place better to start by commenting on their post, retweeting, and kind of, I, I like to use, uh, I'm pretty familiar with Twitter now, so Twitter is how I enable communities uh, for now, <laughs> and a bit in their Discord. A little more of an introvert when it comes to Discord. I'm not the one that's going to be there chatting you up in Discord. Right. That's not me. I'm more of the lurker, gathering all the information. Yep. And then, uh, you know, when it's time to, you know, to have that smart comment in the room, well, usually I'll be like, hey, who's this guy? That's pretty smart what he said kind of thing. Right. Um, so how it, how it all came about to, to get to it is I guess I was starting that. I was starting to comment a bit on their post and whatever. Mm -hmm. And I get... I get a Twitter DM. I get a Twitter DM from Eridia. Like the Twitter account Eridia. Nice. I'm like, what is this? This is scam. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch. You gotta watch. <laughs> so basically it was like something along the lines of, you know, we'd like to partner with you for uh, to promote our upcoming mint. Mm -hmm. uh, the Genesis card pack sale. I'm like, like I said, I was like this is weird where are they reaching out to me kind of thing like this is a scam but anyways i was like okay that sounds cool so then i started researching the game even more to want to see if it's something that i would actually play and if you know if it looked cool and all all that kind of stuff because like people that know me is like i'm not just going to promote something to promote something like that's not me that's not my goal i have a I have an excellent government job. I have an excellent pension. I am not in this for, like, my number one goal is not the money. Like, the money, obviously, is, is great. It's right. for early. People might get some extra, might make a few bucks and play and earn kind of thing. And being early always helps in the space. But I don't I don't need this. That's not my goal in Web3. My goal in Web3 is onboard millions. Let's go. Let's make digital ownership a thing. So them reaching out to me was kind of cool. That was the first time a project ever ever reached out to me for any type of uh partnership like this um so and, and i don't mind being 100 percent honest i think everyone should be 100 percent honest on the, where things come about and why they're promoting certain things and all of that um so basically it was like the original talk was like yeah it's something along the lines of create four pieces of twitter content and yeah, we'll give you X number of packs to give away to your communities or the different communities you're in. And we'll give you 10 free packs for yourself. And we'll give you two of our Warrior uh, Genesis NFTs for yourself. Right. So I was like, I researched a bit. I'm like, wow, oh, that's kind of a cool, you know, value. Yeah, they're not paying me, but I don't expect to be paid. Whatever. This is the first time somebody reaches out to me. I don't even, I don't even know what to expect. Right. Right. Um, so that was a, a pretty good trade. So we, so I had the um, uh, the, the webcam chat with their partnerships uh, uh, leader, and uh, yeah, we kind of had a really good conversation. And he he's the one that said. So I asked. I literally asked him. I'm like, uh, I'm just a little curious <laughs> now. Like I'm on Twitter, like like all these other people. Mm -hmm. I have 600 followers. Why did you reach out to me? kind of thing for this. And uh, I don't remember the exact answer, but I do remember he said something about like, you know, our analytics or, you know, and he said like, you're what we refer to as a micro influencer. So he's yes. the one that yes. gave me that title. And I was yep. like, wow, that's, act I, like, that I, made my day. That I was gonna jump day. in. I was, like, I was gonna jump in and say, <laughs> people are taking notice. It, it, it's getting probably around, around the, uh, the metaverse, Right now for gaming, it's, it's maybe, maybe a million, maybe a million and a half. There's not many. And so the quality people in the project, the word's getting around. The word's probably getting around about you that, you know, he had a different term, my, micro uh, influencer. I, I like a community enabler better, but uh, that's just me. I'm a little biased there. So, you know, that that's a great story. And you're, you're talking about how you didn't get in this for money. And I like hearing that. And it one of the things I noticed about this project is, the entry point was really low in the grand scheme of things. So I, I went and looked at the heroes, the mint on open seas. You can either get a, a, a male warrior or a female warrior. Uh, apologies if I got the names wrong, but I, I think that's it. Um, like a little bit less than a hundred bucks, sometimes a little more, sometimes like 80 bucks. And in this space, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And that's just for the NFT warrior. And then they come out with the packs, six bucks 
six bucks and you can you can have that rng factor of you know common rare epic legendary and what's the last one the last one's like a fancy name oh my gosh well it's a throne throne pack which is like your myth yeah mythic. throne yes throne pack yes it's it's like a mythic yes but they had a different name for it i just it, it escaped my mind and that entry point is nice and low and i like that and uh that that's what this space needs we need a low entry point to get more people in and i'm glad they did that obviously the mint's already done you have to go secondary market for that but the packs there's still about twenty thousand packs or so left i think when we checked yep so we're uh, fifty thousand for sale uh when the sale started monday at uh, 9 a.m so what's that like 24 48 like 60 hours uh right ago. So yeah, yep. so they've sold not too 30 bad. Packs it's, 30, it's not too bad. Packs 30 grand yeah. purchases. I like that. And we're in, you gotta remember we're in the bear market too. So that's that's pretty positive news in my opinion. And they're gonna let that go, I believe. I thought you were talking about you think that they're gonna let that go? Is that confirmed or we don't know yet? Like they're gonna uh, let the, the packs open so that yeah. they can have more entry in, right? It, exactly. So they'll just let the sale go as long as people want to um, buy packs. It's a nice way to you know, people are going to hear about the project. They're going to go on the website, claim their free heroes, start doing quests, and I know we'll all get into that later. And then mm -hmm. they'll be like, wow, this game is really cool. Like, I want to be ready when the game launches with some cards to play with my commander on the board, right? <laughs> and this yep. is their first set of cards. This is like the Genesis series of cards that you're going to be playing on the board. Um, they, they're going to be like... They're gonna be rare. They're gonna be scarce. Like if you look at right. the number of uh, Gods and Chain packs and cards, there mm -hmm. are like each card. There's like a hundred thousand of the more common ones, right? But right. these ones here, they're gonna be limited. And I, I think they're gonna be really limited here soon because the game is coming out. I think I thought I seen quarter two of of this year. Quarter two. That's like we're like a month away from that. And I'm always, I always throw an asterisk on that because we've been in this space. We know about delays. We know things come up. So there is always that asterisk, like there might be a little bit of delay. Don't freak out. It happens, but it's right around the corner. So you're going to have your cards and you can get a free hero right now or get a reasonably priced one, not financial advice on open sea on the secondary market and be ready to play this game more than what you can play it now. And I, I like that. I love, I we got to be able to play the game, man. We got to be able to play the game. It's such a big thing. Everyone's tired of waiting. Let's play the game. And uh, I can't wait for that. I, I'm sure you're, you're stoked about that as well, aren't you? Yeah, I, I want to play against my brother so he could kick my ass <laughs> and I could get better at it. <laughs> you hear that, Toe Man Sam? He's coming for you. He's coming for you. While I'm looking real quick, thank you, Solomon Swear. Thank you for calling. Solomon Swear said we're two beautiful men. I seen Capone Gaming lurking around. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. We want good games, digital ownership. Yes, Toadman Sam, absolutely. Uh, thank you, Miss Metfinger. You followed up on Solomon, you swear. Love seeing these guys on, together on screen. Thank you very much. Man, these guys are full of compliments. I gotta say, oh, I gotta say, seeing so many OJ, GOG making moves and so many different NHU projects, so amazing. Yes, I'll, a lot of us, we started at Guild of Guardians, absolutely. That's where a lot of us met. That's where a lot of us met and... We got hooked on IMX and uh, yeah, we're looking at all these other games, you know? So, uh, you know, I talked about the game coming out. They got the, is, this is the closed elf is coming out, right? Yeah, so they have, I think just a few people testing it now. So the next one would be closed alpha. And in the pack sale, I think if you bought like the 500 packs, you get access to automatically that closed oh. alpha. Yes, if yes, you you're buy, right. If you buy a hundred packs, you get uh, access to like the closed beta. So then the yes. next one after, and then I guess the rest of us will be will be waiting for public um, release. Yeah, public release. Right, right. So yeah, that's that's absolutely amazing. I'm glad that they're doing it that way. Uh, man, we've covered a lot of ground. I, you told me about this, and I didn't get a chance to like thoroughly investigate the white paper, but I've been through a lot of white papers in my time. This one is super detailed they took the time to put everything in and cross every t dot every i and it's absolutely amazing and my favorite part was when they went into their tokenomics i mean they literally show you everything and i absolutely love that transparency 
Uh, their token is the AG token, and that's going to be the one that kind of varies up and down with the market. And then they're going to have their SC token, which is the in-game inflationary or deflationary token. And what does that mean? They are watching the economy, and they want that economy to be safe and strong. So if they feel like there's too much in, they'll start taking some out. If they feel like there's not enough in, they'll start putting more in to keep the economy nice and balanced. I've seen several other games doing this, like Mavia, Eternal Dragons, and several others where they want to protect that economy. And that is very, very smart of them to do that for everybody. You got any thoughts on that, Tomahawk? You're more of the token expert, but like from what I can read... <laughs> it's using that expert oh, sorry, term but again. I, should, I shouldn't use expert. He calls me uh, expert. I love it. I, I'm flattered, uh, but I know it's not true. <laughs> Because uh, I'm thinking of like your center of expertise, right? This is like what you look at when you look at projects. Yeah, for me, it's I do. more. I look for at me, it. it's all about game. Like it's game first. Like that. That has to be number one. And then, uh, and then I look kind of at the token and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, you're explaining it from what I can read from the white paper, paper fairly well. Um, like they're they're in game currency. You cannot like trade that to others or uh, anything like that. And it's used to buy, like you can buy a whole, a whole bunch of stuff right now. You can buy like silver pack cards in game, and those aren't NFT per se. But as you start merging them, or they have like two ways: you can either merge them, or you can. They use a specific term, but it's kind of like destroy them and hope to get a better card in return, kind of thing. Oh, okay, a burn. So, so like yes. trade it in. Yeah. So they have those two aspects, and then if you want them to be come NFTs. Well, then you merge them together, you put a bit of AG token in there with your SC token, and boom, they become gold cards. And now they're NFTs and tradable. Awesome. See, I didn't even know that. So I'm not, you're sounding like the expert, not me. But uh, yeah, that's that's absolutely awesome. I'm glad to hear that. They did have a box in there. And I, I've never seen someone do this before. They, they listed a box of columns and rows, or is it rows and columns? I got it backwards there. Uh, of sinks. Uh, faucets and sinks and the faucets are green meaning injecting sinks taking out red there was red everywhere and i kind of i kind of like that because that means they're taken out and the limited supply usually raises the price it's, it's basic 101 economics so i i like seeing that the link tree it just popped up in the chat right now there's the link tree you can go there and find the white paper and look at it yourself amongst many other links there to get you all the information you need about eridina and man I think I need a, I need a drink or something. Maybe I don't know. I, I think we we I think we need to do a take a break, take a drink. Yeah, we, we should do uh, first giveaway, right? Yeah, let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. I, th I think we'll uh, maybe we'll we'll go around this next and show all of this. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, you can get a free hero right now too. So this is my or no, that's not my free. Here it is. Here's, that's my free hero right there. All they did was make an account. And I got a free hero. And they gave me a free pack, too, for doing it. So it's not as good as going and getting the actual NFTs that are on OpenSea, secondary market. But I'm doing quests and stuff like that. And I found out from Tomahawk earlier, I'm actually missing out some quests. So maybe we'll go into that and show what I've been missing. And uh, let's get this Nightbot going. <laughs> Tone Man Sam. He's like, your hero isn't on a quest. What are you doing, WT? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> so let's congrats, switch over. Congrats, bro. Yes, congrats. Very congrats. Rigged. Yes. Rigged for Rigged. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. Uh on a separate note, Eternal Dragons. I've been like super, super lucky lately. And I've been winning a tourney on left and right, and everyone's like, all right, this is getting ridiculous. I think I'm gonna have to stop competing because like people are getting mad now. <laughs> I don't want to piss up people off, but uh, I do like to win. Get some 50. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you, brother or sister, whatever you are. Welcome to the channel. And there's Toe Man Sam throwing bits around again. I love Toe Man Sam. He's the best. I want to make sure I... It can't... His name came up great. It was kind of hard to see. So here we got Eridina, the map. So when you go to play for free, and I can't show it because I already did it. There's the library here. And you'll get like a highlighted, I think it was like a hand or a fist or something. Or it, I think it was an exc uh, exclamation. Uh, was it an exclamation point? Mark? Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's an exclamation something. Yeah. And you click on it. 
and it'll send you on a quest, and you'll have to have a special code word. Um, it's not too hard. I don't remember off the top of my head, but Boz Lee, he found it and gave, gave it to me. He hooked me up, so I had a little help. And then when you're done with that one, it's like 24 hours, then you got to go to one up here and do that again, different code word. And then there's one over here and you did it with a different code word. And I thought I was done, but no, I was wrong. So, uh, I think it was notice board you told me to go to before, right? Yeah, notice board for questing. There's okay. like three different uh, trees, different quests, and that's where you upgrade your skills as well. And in, in this uh, skill, skill tree, there's three different elements. There's like the beast hunter, towns guard, or uh, merchant navy. So basically, uh, if you click on any of those uh, three, you have a whole bunch of quest uh, options. Right. And I, because we're starting off with our hero is so low level, I usually go for the one that gives me the best success rate. And it's like not as long. Like the shortest quest you can have are 24 hours, but some are 48, some are 72, some are 128. Whoa! And they, and they have a success percentage. So I always go for because my heroes are low level i just started in this i go for like the shortest one it gives me the most success rate okay so and that's how you get your silver coin which is their you know in-game currency that you can use to then upgrade your the skills of your uh, warrior so if i click on one can i go back or once i click that's it uh no you can click all right let's take a look at it. we'll yeah. start with beast hunter take a look Okay, here's all the quests you were talking about. Uh, six to seven estimated silver coins. Yeah. Survival XP, 24 hours. Success rate, 60%. Okay, that's a scouting. Oh, look, it's got the difficulties too, like how hard it is. Yeah, so usually lower difficulties will be better at first because you can see the su your success rate on the higher difficulties with your, you know, your basic hero now and it's at level zero or whatever. Oh, because my no hero's not that. good enough. Oh, you need to upgrade them to get better, or you know oh. you can also buy. Like a... That is cool. Yeah, I like that. Really, I really like cool. that a lot. Holy smokes! Yeah, because I'm looking at it, I'm like zero percent. Why would I even try that? That's awesome. So the more you play, the more you level up your guy, the better chance you have at uh, doing quests and getting stuff. I mean, it makes sense. It's logical. I like it. Okay, well, this will be my first attempt. So. All right, chat. Well, let, let, before I make, let me go back. Let's go look at the other ones. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, is there a way to go back? Oh, go back. Right in front of my face. All right, Towns Guard. Look at the graphics. I like this. Nice and medieval. Look at that. 48%. Ugh. Difficulty three. So Towns Guard looks harder than beast. The Beast one. And they switch every. I I don't know on which cycle they switch, but they uh -huh. switch often. I don't even. I, it could be every day. Like every time I go in, I'm always looking at all three of them because they always switch around the quest, different difficulties, different success rates. So it's good because you kind of need to upgrade all three elements to get. Uh, I think Sem, uh, Papa Semp in the chat is like you can earn commodities beginning mm -hmm. at difficulty four quests. So I'm assuming commodities or the, the things you gain are as well as is going to allow you to kind of upgrade down that tree and then have access to uh, uh, other things. And we'll look at the the, the skill tree after that. Okay. Uh, once you're sent on a quest. Yeah. So chat, I want you to pick where I'm going to go on my quest. Please don't send me on a zero percent quest. <laughs> <laughs> don't send me on a zero percent i if it's got a percentage point at least one point i'll go on it you guys tell me to go you go merchant towns guard or beast hunter and what's cool too is tell um, me in chat what you want me to go to you guys pick and then you'll which faction and then i'll go in there and then you guys pick the quest in the uh, notifications like you get you get notified right away when you failed your quest and it's it's cool because it's not after the 48 hours that you know that you failed. It's sometime between when you started and when you fail. So it could be six hours in, boom, it'll send you a notification you failed. So that's good because you can start on another quest right away without having to wait the full 48 hours just to know that you failed kind of thing. Awesome, awesome. Uh, 
Hold on a moment. Sanai, Sanai 18 asks, will the progress reset when the game is released or is, or is, is the pros, or does the progress stay? That's a very good question. I, I would think, uh, like I said, I'm new to this, but right. this is, you're, you're building your commander now. So okay. I believe that these stats are, are attached to your NFT commander. So they're, they're staying like, this is yeah, part of the game. I think game. you're right. I think you're right because if you you paid for those nfts what they're doing that metadata is stored so that makes sense yeah i, I would i would be shocked if this doesn't stick I, okay i've got a couple people saying town guard so i'm gonna go town guard okay now where do you want me to go i got brawl with 48 percent success difficulty three escort 55 percent with two difficulty public seven percent with seven don't send me there <laughs> Another set. Boy, this town's guard does not mess around. They do not mess around. Look at how hard these are compared to the other ones. Where am I going? They're going to send me to public or investigate. Watch. Can we change? <laughs> That's up to you guys. I'm going where you guys tell me to go. There was two people that said to go to town's guard. Man, the, the chat is shy. Let's go, guys. Let's yeah. send them on a mission. Escort. This is... This is decentralized right here. Governance. Let's go. Yeah. All <laughs> you right. got the power. Use it. Okay, I got I got one that says take the 24-hour one. I don't see a 24-hour one. Not he's in this break. Uh, it's probably talking about, uh, I think, in the beast, in your beast mode or beast quest. Okay. There was so, a 60%, I think, success rate, which would give you the best chance. Take a 24 hour one. Okay, I got Toad telling me to take a different one. Is that okay with you, Sinai? Because I know you said escort. Is it okay if I go somewhere else? I only got two people chiming in. Come on, guys. I'm giving you a chance to send me what? Investigate. Yeah, that's what I figured somebody would do. <laughs> oh, Miss Ben figure. She's a mod. She, her, vote, her vote don't count. <laughs> I'll lose. I know I will. Okay. Let's go escort. Yep. All right, there's two for escort. We'll go it. Well, risk risk it for the biscuit, baby. So what? I click on it. Yeah, click on it once, and then so then it gives you a whole bunch of uh, you know if your warrior has different elements, okay. that can increase your success rate. Oh, or okay. Or whatever. Yeah. I so, see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like so it, do I have pick... a, a? Yeah. I can pick any of these. No, 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 that's just saying if you have this, if you're really oh, has this. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so like, all right, so if you, oh man, if you've got a legendary, you get a 40% success rate. Plus, plus a silver coin bonus. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yes. I like so you this. Have this. Yeah, this is really cool. You have the button to send warriors to your right. All right. All right. There's, this is my freebie. Okay. He's level zero. I'm sending him on a hard quest right off the bat. Earn your earn your keep, freebie. <laughs> <laughs> Select warrior. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is awesome. I love it. Okay. Okay. One warrior confirmed. Your quest your quest warriors were equipped and sent on the quest. Alright, he's on a quest. He's on a quest. And uh what's this? I got a red thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's your notification, so that's really cool. It'll tell you when he's departed, cool. when he's cool. back, if your quests fail. I also get an email notification that tells me when my quest is complete or fail. So when I get that email notification, I'm like, okay, time to go quest again. Nice. Okay, man, I've been, this guy's been sitting for days just being a, a lazy bum. <laughs> I, I guess I had to tell him what to do. It's my bad. I'm a bad boss. All right, where do you want me to go next? Uh, we can check the skill tree. So we went to the notice board. Uh, okay. The skill tree would be at the temple, up uh, middle up. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's when you're going to have enough silver coin and items to upgrade. Uh, you, yeah, you'll see the skill tree and different things you can upgrade. Oh I'm my goodness! Even, I'm not even there yet, but it's really cool. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay. Survival, yes, you strategy, can click on one. leadership, give you more details, and coming soon. 
Look at all of this. Holy smokes. I did not I did not know it was this detailed. You're opening my eyes today on this. I might I might go get some more card packs now. I got a few bucks left. I got a few bucks left. I might go get some more. This is awesome. Very cool, very cool. All right, so like and I noticed too Look at that. Ends in 47, 58 minutes. It's got your timer right there. I like it, man. They they definitely thought a lot of stuff in this game. And, uh, man. Let's see. Um, like I said, the, uh, uh, the Aradina link tree pops up every five minutes in my chat. I'm going to pop it up right now. It has all the information that you need. There it is right there in the chat. Check it out. Check out that white paper. The white paper is amazing. And boy, is there anything else that you want to talk about with this uh, Tomahawk? Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's a ton to talk about. Uh, quickly, I can say that, like like you see, it's a web browser application. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to download. Same thing when the you know, the X style game uh, Battlefield comes on. Same thing, web browser application. It's on it's on PC for now. Uh, but the goal is down the road to have it available on mobile as well. Yes. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I forgot to mention that. That was in my notes and I completely glossed over it. That is absolutely huge for me. Almost, I want to say at least 90% of the games that I'm involved in, they're either in mobile or they're going to mobile. And that is, that is like probably one of my biggest things is because everybody has a phone and I think those games have a better chance at succeeding because they're going to have access to that bigger demographic. And I didn't know this game was going mobile till I was going through some stuff today, getting ready for this interview. And I was like, oh, sweet. They're going mobile. This is even better. We're on IMX. It's NFTs and blockchain. And you're going to mobile. It's a, it's a triple win in my book. Triple win. Triple win. <laughs> yeah. I'm, thank you so much for bringing up that point. That was something I wanted to talk about and I completely forgot about it. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, you know, I, you might have mentioned it. One thing that they did that I was very, very happy about, uh, they rewarded their holders of the, uh, the, the warriors and I, and I, that you get off an open seat. They've already minted, but you can get them off open seat. If you held one before this mint, I believe they gave you 6% off of what you were buying. And wasn't there something else like they gave you a bonus pack or something too? Yeah, you get a bonus pack. You get a percentage off based on how many Genesis Warrior you held. And that oh. could, go, could go all the way to 15% off if you held, I think, 100 of them or something. Wow. And, and that's a good segue because I do want to talk about like their, their collection, right? Like before they jumped onto IMX with this Genesis pack, and, and I went back, and their first actual... Uh, Genesis or their warrior sale was back in 2021 mm -hmm. and that was their, their warrior and uh, they sold that collection out I think it was like in 13 minutes I want to say that's pretty good and yeah so I have a little stats on that I'll give you a little stats on uh, okay on those so yeah the male warriors it was eight eight thousand of them uh, they were minted on uh, in August 2021 for a for an equal price of a 0.045 e and now the, f the current floor is at 0.06 e so the floor wow. is above uh, in in ETH, of course what they sold for originally right so that was their first mint in august 21 uh, 2021 second second mint female warriors mm -hmm. so 5200 uh, women warriors they were free to claim mints for holders of the genesis warriors of Aradina in November 2021 and the current floor on these and these were free mints to their holders the floor is 0 0.0537 it's almost it's just under the floor of the of their genesis so that is absolutely amazing that's awesome project. yes and then they had a comic uh Aradina comics uh that were a paid mint of 0.1 each with a limit of one mint per wallet so there's only 300 in this collection. I and think I've ever seen that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the current floor is 0 0.15 ETH. So all of them right now in, in ETH uh, value are, you know, technically more than they minted. I, I don't know what the 
price of ETH at the time and whatnot, what that uh, is equivalent to. But, you know, at least in ETH, we can see that the, the floor is, uh, is very strong on these. Yeah, and I, I I absolutely love that they're, I mean it's nothing like, it's nothing like groundbreaking. Like they're throwing everything they are giving at their holders, but they're giving them something. They're giving them something, some little benefit, some little perk. And like like you said, if you held more, get up to fifteen percent. That's pretty substantial. If you're going to buy even more card packs, you know that could be several hundred to seven thousand dollars that you're getting off for being a loyal holder. And I I love it when companies do that. It really. It really solidifies your community because it feels like they got your back and they have your best interests and they're not forgetting about you. And I, I just think that's, I, I just think that's almost a staple in this space and that it has to be done. So uh, hats off to them. Uh, I think we need to do some, uh, another giveaway here. A couple of them. Let's get some marbles yeah, going. Yeah, let's do giveaways. And then I'm going to talk about the benefits of holding a Genesis Warrior. All right, this looks like a good one right here. I'm not a marbles expert. So type in the chat race, exclamation race. Jump in here and we're gonna give away, we're gonna give away two more packs. Is it race or play? Isn't it exclamation play? Or oh, I'm sorry, Maybe? exclamation play, exclamation play. <laughs> that component's <laughs> laughing at me right now. He's like this noob, <laughs> this noob. <laughs> There he is, and hot pink, hot pink Capone Gaming. There's Sami Swear, Papa Simp. <laughs> uh, look at him laughing. I knew, I knew as soon as I did it, he was laughing. He's like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> if you don't know who Capone Gaming is, he's an awesome streamer. He streams almost every night. It seems like at least five to six nights a week. His Twitch channel is Capone Gaming. He's also known as Bruno. Uh, if you have not seen his stream, you've got to check it out. Tons of hype, tons of energy, probably some sock jokes. It's not safe for kids. <laughs> Don't bring your kids. Do not bring your kids. I'm telling you right now. But check it out. Uh, one of my good buddies, I've known him for well over a year now. Uh, an absolutely amazing guy in the space. Um, it's been a pleasure hanging out with him and just doing all kinds of things. We do videos now and then. He's also Internal Dragons. Uh, he loves IMX as well. He's part of this community. We got like this dual community going on from like Guild of Guardians community that got together and his community. And we're just, we're like this big happy family. I like it. So, all right, I'll give another uh, 20 seconds here. Let's see. Come on, there's more people in chat. There's more people in chat. Craig, you can even get in again. Just put in exclamation play. What did I say? Exclamation race? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, I literally, I literally updated this today, and I had to go watch a YouTube video to make sure I knew what I was doing it because I've never run one of these before. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Exclamation sock. There's a story to that. I, it was when I was, I was pretty early in his streams, and he was talking about putting socks in his pants. <laughs> I was dying <laughs> laughing. So I, ever since then, I always bring up the sock comment. It just cracks me up. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, Let's get this started here. Why is my mouse? I should be. Oh, I got to hit start. That's why. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. If you haven't done any exclamation play. Yeah, we're going to we're going to do a couple twos and then we'll bump it up to fours. So if you win in the marbles, you're out for the next one. So this is two. Oh, I got to look at this. I don't, I'm not even following what I'm supposed to do. I had to ask my son, how do I move? And he knew how to do it. He came home from school as I like, teach me marbles. All right, look at that! Look at that bright pink. Who is it? Capone and Toad. Is this a bad map? There's like a bunch of maps. I was like, man, watch I pick a really dumb map. See, Capone would be making a comment right now about that black hole. I guarantee it. <laughs> Where's it go? Down here? Oh, there they go. There they go. There's Rubik. Rubik. Guy is smart. He's in uh, my Discord. He does. He's done an amazing job on my Discord. My Discord sucked. And he's like, "Let me help you, please. I can't look at this anymore." I was like, "All right, yeah, thanks, Rubik, man. I appreciate." It. Rubik's awesome. He's also another IMX fanatic. 
Yes. He, he's on top of IMX more than I am. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's like, he, he, you're right. Every day he's yeah. like showing me this project. It's like, dude, I can't, I can't keep up. <laughs> it's like a fire hose of water. I like it though. It gets me looking at him. There's another one I got to look at. I forgot about. He's probably wondering. I'm going to have some time though. I have a surgery scheduled up in a couple days and I'm going to be sitting on my butt a lot. And I plan on having my laptop next to me and just trying to dive into a lot of things. There's Toad Man on his heels. Papa Simp, Papa Simp. That's a new person in our chat. And Sanai also. Thanks for stopping by. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I go up? I lost my view. Ah! This is cool. Rubik's still going for it. Is he? Uh-oh. So where they got to fall down this hole now? Oh! Did Salami Swear get it? Oh! He cheated. That's did, solemnly swear. Just... Was that? Did he just cheat? I think he just cheated. <laughs> solemnly swear, the winner. Is that legal? Congrats. Congrats I don't even know if that's buddy. legal. It says he won, so I'm going with it. Solemnly swear, the winner. <laughs> he like fell over. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not. Is that good? I don't even know. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to be in the lead to, to finish first. Apparently, awesome, Tall Man Sam. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Where are we going? Uh, uh, I guess in there, Adina, you can jump back to uh, just the normal stream. It's not necessarily in there. People okay. can go check out. There's tutorials on YouTube on uh, you know how to send your warrior on quests and what to do in this game. Uh, but no, I just want to yeah chat quickly about. Uh, the main uh, benefits, main benefits of Genesis uh, Warriors. Okay, real quick, oh. in the left-hand corner, yeah. if you haven't seen it, that's the actual board that you're doing the battle tactics on. So you have to use your cards, place your troops, and then you move. And there's terrain involved. So, like, there could be elevated terrain that you're better on or worse on or trees that limit your movement and cause other things. So it's not just place your cards on there and fight immediately. There's actual real tactics and terrain involved in this. So... You were talking about uh, Genesis NFTs, I believe? Yeah, well, to add on to what you just said, I had a comment that I could post down here. Um, yeah, so so they do say as a reminder, as you're looking at the board right there, most of the 3D game assets are placeholders at the moment, especially the, the trees that all look the same and stuff. They're going to be having like enhanced graphic and unit design coming soon. And I think there was one quick leak I saw where it's going to look so much nicer than what you see now. Like that's really, you know, that that's all right, but it, they're going to go into graphically a lot more detail in, okay. in the boards and everything. So it's going to be super nice to, to watch and to, to play. Right. They're probably just um, focused on making sure it works properly right now. Yeah. I would imagine. Uh, Salami sir asked a question. Maybe I missed this, but do the basic heroes have utility or just the ones that were bought? So, I think it's just the ones that are bought, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So they do explain in the white paper uh, about different, like there's the free to play uh, aspect of it versus having holding the NFT. So, mm -hmm. so I think most of the earning components will be if you have one of the NFTs, like your warrior NFT and not necessarily the free one. Uh, but there's there's different ways to earn in this game. But I think most of the earning potential will come from the warrior NFTs or you know the women NFTs. Uh, but you can also have uh, you you can rent those out. So you could rent one out from somebody that owns one if you want to play and earn. Uh, and yeah, there'll be different different aspects. But they'll definitely be free to play. There'll be. You'll get your uh, silver coins if you're free to play, that in-game currency that we talked about. Right. And if you actually want to earn with the AG token, most of that or a lot of that will be, you'll need to kind of own or rent like the warrior NFTs. And I'm going to jump right into the main benefits of, of holding a Genesis warrior. Okay. Uh, so like they say, at least one warrior NFT is required to access Battleground Battlegrounds is the board you see and earn from PvP battles. So the, like I said, the earning part from PvP battles, uh, you need to worry NFT. 
the ability to upgrade the warrior nft through skill upgrades to increase earning potential and tradable value mm -hmm. uh, ability to begin building your army for battlegrounds by earning earning new units from questing rewards so your quest questing rewards will give you new packs for for your nft warrior uh ability to recruit more warriors now this one here is absolutely amazing Ooh. so you can earn if you have a warrior nft but okay. then they're going to have a recruitment system where only warrior nfts can recruit more i, I guess they'll be called something else but it'll be other warrior nfts that they can also earn on those nfts so it's, it's almost like a weird breeding system. Yes, it's like a weird breeding, but you don't need to breed two together. It's a recruitment. Okay. To recruit, to recruit another NFT that's capable of earning, you have to own one of the, their warrior NFTs. Huh. So they're, they're really giving their initial holders the power in this game, right? Like, right, 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 right. Yeah. And that's, gosh, I can't say it enough. Like, it's like a staple in this space. Is like your, your original people that got you going, you... you you don't have to throw everything at them and hurt the game, but give them something, you know? I mean, that's that's amazing. And, like, uh, uh, Papa Semp threw out a comment. I don't know how he knows this. I, I don't know. I'm just quoting what he says here. Female warriors get the same benefits as warriors, except for future land airdrop is only for male warrior NFTs. I was not aware of that, because I did notice a slight, a slight pri price difference. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, the two last benefits, uh, yeah, the one is the ability to loan out your warrior for passive earning through the mercenary Ooh. system so you can that. loan out your your warrior and the last one is exactly what papa sempit is talking about the original genesis collection of warriors of eridina will also receive an airdrop of land in eridina upon the ecosystem expansion so i have no clue how that looks but it just shows that your early supporters are the ones that you're you know rewarding uh, constantly i tell you what i gotta find some eth now <laughs> that's what that's what i that's what i'm feeling i gotta i gotta go get me an open sea warrior now now i gotta i got the freebie i got my packs now i gotta go get another nft it's a sickness i have a sickness that's why that's why i call my discord the dgen hangout <laughs> we we're all degenerates we have problems i think maybe maybe not i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but yes i like this i like this a lot oh man that's fantastic yeah, and you, i knew i knew this would get you excited because you're all about like what's the utility what are you giving your early supporters and and this to me like this project is wow they're, they're really right but i'm also concerned about the gameplay too i mean the gameplay yeah. matters a ton and like i i knew a little bit about this like you really opened up my eyes even more about the level of intricacy in this and I, I absolutely love that because i would get bored with just one or even two facets this has got many facets and that's that's the games i'm getting into do they have many facets you know like uh, another game i'm in they they've got the pve first that we we're able to play then they went to pvp coming real soon then they're going to go into city building then they're going to go into another thing and like i like that you're giving me more to play more to do and i think that's just it, it's it's good for the space it's good for the game and if you get in early it's good for you too so uh yeah uh, told man Sam, he's gonna go buy a warrior now <laughs> you were we were just talking about this earlier where, where is he where's he get this one <laughs> i love it i love it all right um, and uh, just just on that like they have a whole uh, they have a YouTube video on how to choose a warrior. And if oh. you're in that, if you're actually, if you uh, want to go back to the browser. Okay. There's a, a section there where you get additional information on the warrior and stuff like this. And also in their Discord, they have people that are very, very helpful. Where uh, do you want me to go? Uh, let's see. That's pretty small. What do you have up there? Oh, I'm not sharing with you. Uh, wh what am I looking for? Open C or do what you want on their, uh, I don't know. You were in their browser. You went to the right place. Yeah. Hold on. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Hold on. Hold on. I'll help you out here. Hold on. Uh, oh no, I, I'm watching your Twitch. It's fine. What's that? I'm watching your Twitch. So it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll just go back to that then for now. Yeah. I can mostly see what you see. Okay. 
So, what am I looking for? Yeah, so go back to the, the browser place where you are capable of sending your warriors on quests. Okay. Where and I sent the warriors on quest, you said? Top, well, top right, what are the other names of the other places around? Tavern, there? notice board, tavern. tavern. Okay. Yeah, go to the tavern. Oh. I All believe right. it's a tavern. Okay. Can you see that? But yeah, so yeah, so there you'll have like the different rarities and you can look at the, the the stats. So you can click on one of them and then you'll have like their different stats, like their attack power, their defense power and stuff like this. So you want to, you know, look at somebody that has, you know, balanced stats or if you want a commander, like this will be your, your commander on the battlefield, right? So if you want somebody with uh, high attack oh, or high defense. Wow. Holy like smokes. It's, it, there's so much to this. There's like, it's insane. It's so cool. Yes. You yes. can spend hours just searching these. Because because you go on OpenSea and you'll see some stats. But how does it relate to the game? Yes. Okay. This okay. is how it relates to the game. I get you. I totally get you here. I'm trying to see how to filter for rarity right now. I don't see it. Armor. Do they have a rarity filter? Because we're looking at all like legendaries. Oh, here it is. Order by rarity. Uh, okay, so you can go d specific stats. Holy smokes. Male or female. Oh, my goodness. So I want to see some of the lesser ones. Like, these are all, like, probably... I can't imagine what people are charging for these ones. Probably a ridiculous amount. Yeah, probably something insane. I want to see by rarity. Like, I want to go to the lesser rarities. This is awesome. I'm glad you showed me this. Yeah, and then when you click on one, it'll usually link directly to OpenSea. So okay. sometimes, so what I'll do is maybe go on, I don't know if there's a better way of doing this, but I would go on OpenSea or Rarible and okay. look at, at the floor ones. And then I would go in here and compare like, okay, stats wise, what, what, what are they offering kind of thing. Okay, so here's the floor 0 0.06, which is not bad. Like, just get your foot in the door. But, yeah, but, uh, but let's I go. Think I think the rarer you get, it also affects the ones that you're going to recruit down the road. Wow. So you have a recruitment system. I okay. think that the, uh, uh, I'm not 100% here. Maybe Papa Sam has a little more information here. But I think something affects what you can recruit down the road. He said that top wizard sold for 18 ETH. Holy smokes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh, how do you filter by rarity? I don't see it. Armor, background, class. Is this, oh, is this a legendary, heroic, and mighty? Is that the rarities? Oh, yeah. So they be. have like three different rarities. Most of them are, are. Okay. What is it, mighty? Yeah. So mighty's your last. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I was expecting like four or five rarities. I'm looking for like, you know, legendary, rare, all that. I wasn't looking for this. Okay. So there's mighty. Oh, that's half an ETH floor. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Well, I'm getting mighty. <laughs> I'm going mighty. <laughs> that's a that's an expensive jump. That you're going from a hundred bucks. Here's your hundred buck floor, roughly, give or take, to uh like nine hundred or no eight hundred eight hundred ish bucks. Hundred or eight hundred jump. And then what's legendary floor? 2.4. So you got 100, 800, or, oh, good grief. Uh, almost, almost 4,000. <laughs> oh. yeah, so Papa Sam, Papa Sam saying heroics have total stats of 150 plus. So I think looking at this total stats is a, a good like first entry into okay when you're comparing heroes you want to add their their total stats and that you see a, a lot better in the uh, <laughs> look, earlier, the look at his hat his hat has a patch on it <laughs> he's a floor <laughs> <laughs> i love it <laughs> he's a floor guy we got to give him a patch on his hat <laughs> uh class discrimination here we go <laughs> uh yeah Okay, so 
Yeah, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So look at this. This is the mid tier. There's their floor. So so Capone Gaming is asking, so the packs have these type warriors in them, or is this different? Uh, so Capone, this is different. So in your army, you're going to have a commander. And this guy, when he's on the board, you want to kill your, your uh, opponent's uh, commander, and you want to keep yours alive. That's how you win the game. Um, so what we're looking at now, the NFTs, uh, the warriors, these will be your commander uh, in the game. But the, the Genesis packs that are being sold now, $6 for a pack of five with different rarities that you can get, that's actually what your pack is going to look like, what your army's going to look like. So I so think you're... you're coming in with your commander plus a pack of 20 cards. So you need 20 cards to play. And that's what's like you get randomly like five at a time. And then you have points to play those cards on the board. So this is your commander, your NFT warrior. And then you get the cards, your army, which you know represents your army that you're bringing to the battlefield. Which so am I, am I hearing this right? You can have a commander either from a bought NFT or you could get lucky and get a commander from one of your cards, right? I I I don't know. I I, I think so. I think so because when I was watching some YouTube videos and I might be wrong, I, so correct me if I'm wrong, they were they were saying that your cards can be one of three things, either a commander, troops, or basically like a, a buff card. It's a buff card to make your troops better. And your uh, troops okay, are so used to either defend your commander or go on the offensive. But you don't want your commander to die, because if he dies, you lose. Correct. Yeah, I don't know if your commander is available. Papa Semp is saying uh, that's what uh, that's what your free common warrior is for. Uh, so I think that the one you get, you can claim, he can be a commander. You can use the common warrior as your commanding warrior. So you either use the, the free one you claim that you're leveling up. So that, that's the thing. Your commander warrior is the one that you can level up doing quests uh, and upgrading the, the, the stats for your tree. So I, I don't know if the Genesis packs, because the Genesis packs are literally just the playing cards of each hero that you can place on the board. Those are not upgradable. They have, like, they have their set stats. Whereas your commanding warrior, that's the one that you're continuously upgrading and doing quests with. So that's why I think they're two different things. But gotcha. Okay. Okay. Um, that's awesome, man. We've 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 covered a lot here today. Um, there's obviously a lot more to this game, and I'm sure we're missing a few little pieces here and there. Again, we are not official ambassadors, or we're, we're just kind of uh, getting in this. Tomahawk has definitely done a lot more research and been a lot more involved, and he was getting my attention. That's why I want to talk about this today. Um, yeah, I'm two weeks in, you know, like I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm no expert in Aerodina. I'm two weeks in. Two weeks in, I just took notice when they joined IMX and I just looked at it and I was reached out by Aerodina because of, you know, probably my contacts with a lot of IMX communities and yep. just enabling the community like that we were saying earlier at WT. Papa Simp says the card packs are your cards you'll bring into your game and you will use those to deploy units, spells on the battlefield. Okay, okay. All right, so it sounds like the NFT is your commander. Or or the free one you can claim. Right, right? the free one, but they, free one, it won't have as good as not... stats as the other NFTs, though, I would assume. Correct. Okay. Okay, thanks for clearing that up, uh, Papa Simp. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, where's all, all these people following now? Coming in at the end. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Uh, I can't thank you enough for coming on. You just, you really opened up a few things for me of what's going on with this game. And I can't thank you enough for that. Uh, just absolutely a whole nother level of the game that I didn't even know existed. So. Do you have any final thoughts on anything that you would like to say about the game or anything going on with this? I'm just, uh, I, I like everything I see so far. I, I think I can't wait to actually to, like play the game, have, have an access to play the game. It, it looks, it looks super fun. It looks super strategic. Um, obviously like the, the cards in the Genesis pack, uh, 
we know like the slots that we're getting are we getting a normal card or an enhanced slot but they haven't finalized the actual cards in the pack so we don't know yet what cards we have in the pack when we do right. finalize that then that'll be very exciting to see like oh which cards did I actually get in the pack and then you know if you get duplicates you'll probably be able to either you know merge them I think you can merge like gold ones to make like a diamond cards as well that's a whole other yes thing. there's just so much I, I would say like join join the community go um go 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 through the link tree uh check out their white paper their white paper has a ton of info and yeah i'm always yep. uh, available to chat about the game and they, they have very very knowledgeable people in their community um way way more than than we are like i'm brand new to this project uh, but it looks it looks really cool Yep, yep, I absolutely agree. Uh, Miss Benfinger, thank you for the biddies. Uh, Valindris, thank you for the first time chat. I'm a back. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know what the. I'm sorry if I butchered this. I'm a back. It's egg. I I don't know. You got me there with the snakes. But thank you very Imba, much for chatting. Imba kids, Imba kids, something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying. That's tough. I'm old. I'm not. I'm not hip. I'm not in the lingo, but. Real quick before we get out of here, another quick thing. When you go to buy, you go straight to their link tree, use their, their actual link in link tree to get to the safe, secure spot. You can buy on layer one or layer two via IMX with several different options. I absolutely love that. So if your money happens to be on L1 and you forgot to transfer over there, boom, you can buy right there. You have to pay a little bit of ETH fees, but that's the way it is. But if you have your money on L2 IMX, Boom, you can buy. I bought some with USDC and ETH. It works. It was beautiful. It shows that the industry is evolving and it's making it more user friendly to actually buy. So go to there, you hit buy now in their packs and you'll see. I don't know if I'm going to need my. Oh, shoot. I wonder if I'm, I'm going to. Do I need to sign? If I need to sign, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, no. Nah. I don't have my. I don't have my ledger on me. Dang it. Okay. So this is where you would go. Apologies, I can't show. I don't have my ledger on me right now. I apologize. But you would hit connect wallet to buy. And when you hit that, there's literally going to be two columns. One on the left side, L1. One on the right side, L2. L2 is for IMX. L1 is for your MetaMask basic Ethereum stuff. It's super easy. It That's what I liked about it. It's super easy that you can see. If you know what L1 and L2 is, obviously. That's... That's a little bit more advanced, but if you if you're in the space, you know what L1 and L2 is, and they're, they're making it easy. They're getting there. So, uh, yeah. Again, Tom Hawk, thank you very much for coming in and, and enlightening us with your knowledge. Uh, chat, everybody from my community, uh, Capone, all the new people that came in, all the new follows, the bits, everything. I very very much appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'm glad you had a good time. Uh, if you're in my personal discord we're giving out another five packs i will be getting on that in the next day and uh yeah that's it toad man thank you very much for the bits i appreciate it brother thank you so much and check it out aradina the link one more time in the chat link tree it has everything you need right then and there i i dare i guarantee you should check out the white paper it will impress you all right that's it tomahawk Last quick thought, anything? Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me on. And uh, looking forward to more, more of these in the future. Okay. Uh, I'm going to raid Non-Fiat, one of my buddies. I'm going to start that going. Go say hi to him. I hope you all had a great time. And I will be back tomorrow. And we're going to stream again. 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check us out. We'll be playing some Under Black stuff. Everybody take care. Bye-bye now.